Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Um, we're starting off right where we left off here. Um, I did one off-screen battle with that girl right there. Um, I just wanted to... I don't know, I guess I forgot I was recording or something like that. Not even gonna make up an excuse for that one, folks. I was talking to myself, but... You know, it happens. But we have two gym badges left before we finish this series. And, uh, we could try the final battle. I think we're gonna lose. But we could give it a shot. You know, I'll give it my best. But yeah, like I said, um... We only had that battle with that girl there, and then I think I battled one tentacle. So you guys really didn't miss much, and it's not like anybody leveled up or anything, and... Honestly, we're in... Pretty big danger here. Because, um... Most of our team is hurt. Pretty badly. I think we only have three live Pokemon right now. Which makes this whole trip of... Going back home a little bit harder. Especially because... Ampharos is really just our MVP right now. He's one of the only guys we have alive that can really do anything here. Let's see who else is alive. Maybe Heracross is alive. No, Gyarados and Dragonair, and they're both injured. Great. So we're, we're just hoping to make it home this episode, and to, um... We also want to go and battle a trainer. I don't think we're going to battle Sabrina this episode, although it would make more logical sense to battle it in that order. Um, I just don't know. Cause in my mind, she's actually harder than the final gym leader. But we can try and go and beat her first. We'll see what happens. I don't think we would win against her. That's my big concern here. Is we're probably not going to do well. Light screen. So what? Okay, no. And Dragonair grew to level 43. It's good. Maybe we'll be able to fly by the end of the series. I don't think so, but you never know, folks. And this place has a Poke Center. Yes. So we can actually heal here. Thank God. We really needed that there. So yeah, th this may be the final episode, actually. You know, kind of thinking about it. C Cinnabar Island. The fiery town of burning desire. But it's all, it's all burnt up. Is this just a giant plus sign? It is. I hit no there. Um, what I want to do is I really want to level up Kadabra. I want to get him involved in every encounter that we come across. Just so this it, that gives us the best chance against the Psychic Gym. Um, it's still, like, we're not looking great. Zero encounters. You have to be kidding me. Um, let, let's go battle. Let's go battle blue first. Not sure if I stated that's who it is, but that's one of the gym leaders here. Oh yeah, we talked to him last episode, that's fine that I say it. We'll go battle Blue. That pesky asshole. Sentry. This may actually level Cadaver up, that's the only reason I went for it here. But like I said, this next... Oh, no, yeah, it's... Even though that looks like a tiny amount, it's actually... You know, it's to scale, so... We're just gonna battle straight through blue, I think. Because I think that's the best way to level up Cadaver here. And I think his gym is just him. There might be other opponents, I may be wrong, but... You know, he is back. He said that he would battle us. Let's 
fucked up here is. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto boy? Now, nowadays, with all the cancel culture, that might be considered a slur. Maybe we gotta cancel blue. Okay, he's got a Pidgeot. Level 56. He is gonna outrank us everywhere. You know, his team is gonna be pretty brutal against us. But hopefully, he just doesn't one-shot all of the members on our team. Because <laughs> it looks like he's starting off strong against Cadaver there, which is not great. Let's go into Pokemon. Um, that's not really gonna help us. Let's switch into Typhlosion. Fire's not gonna be ridiculously strong against Pidgeot. But I feel like his stats are at least a little bit more helpful, maybe? Yeah. He didn't get completely annihilated there, for example. Like Kadabra did. And I think that's just Kadabra's... What's it called? He gets a boost once he becomes an Alakazam, but... Did you use Flame Wheel? That's probably not going to be all that effective against me. Yeah. Iron Tail might be a much better option. I don't know if Steel is strong against Flying, but I would think it's better than most things. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Yeah, and you can see already, he, he's a problem. He's a huge pain in the ass. Okay, Cadaver should level up there. Good job, Dragonair. Yes. Use Gyarados against Rhydon. Hopefully, it, it's tough with Pidgeot because we don't really have like one specific Pokemon that's really strong against flying types. I mean, I guess Gyarados or Ampharos would have been good choices there, but... Do we really want to utilize them when we're trying to rank up Kadabra and things like that? It's it just, you know, it is what it is. You can see, even being 10 levels above us, that bar moves slow. Alakazam. Shit. This is going to be a massive problem. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I really don't know what to do. Because Alakazam's gonna rip through our team. That was a crit, too. He's psychic. I was hoping he would go for recover and we could at least get another hit and even it back out, but... Shit. I mean, Heracross has a strong special defense, but it's not going to be enough to get him through a Psychic by Alakazam, I don't think. I think that's going to obliterate him. Yep. Nothing. Let's try Ampharos. Let's go with Zap Cannon. Hopefully we can hit. Okay, he used Recover. Okay, we hit him. And we paralyzed him, that's great. Okay, we got Alakazam out of the picture. Thank God. But now we're down so many team members. Typhlosion still have health left? Yeah, he does. Here's what we're gonna try and do. I think he's gonna outspeed us. So we're gonna switch to the pack and we're gonna give a Hyper Potion to Typhlosion.
Yeah, see, because he's doing that to raise his attack or whatever that does. So he's really going for status stuff here. But hopefully we can get him hurt before he even has a chance to utilize any of that stuff. Shit. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. That's all I'm hoping for. Yeah, that's fine. Because now he has to rest, I think. I think you have to rest after using Solar Beam. And maybe we can get lucky and get a crit here. Oh, okay, we got a burn. That's, that's fine. See, he's taking in sunlight. But he's going to die from the burn, so we don't even have to worry about it. Good job, Typhlosion. Dragonair. You're just doing you, man. Gyarados, yes. Um... Oh, Ampharos is still alive with full health. Damn. Good job, Ampharos. Like I said, he's been a stud this whole game. <sighs> this is really a chance here, because Zap Cannon can miss, and if it misses, we're likely screwed. Shit. Let's go with Thunder Punch. We should have used Thunder Punch first, because this is probably going to kill him. We had, like, the best opportunity there, and I just fucking blew it. Because I don't think this is going to be a one-hit KO. It was close, but it wasn't. Let's see if we can outspeed him. Okay, he used a full restore. Which is perfect. Like, in this scenario, that's the best thing he could have done right there. Because we're just going to bring him right back down. And maybe we can even luck out and get a crit or something. I'm expecting him to use Hydro Pump again. Um, I don't know if he will or won't. Okay, good. Full restore. That's perfect. Twister. Which isn't that strong of a move, but it's probably going to hit Ampharos like a tank. Just because, like I said, he's more than 10 points ahead of us. If we could just land a zap cannon, we would kill him. That's gonna kill us. For sure. Son of a bitch. Let's use Typhlosion. I think he has to recover after using that move. Ampharos is really our only option there. And I, I'd like to use, you know, any other Pokemon in this situation. I, or I'd like to heal up another one. But, um... The problem with that is... I don't know what his last Pokemon is, and maybe we need Typhlosion to take it down. Maybe we need Kadabra. You know, maybe we need... I don't know exactly what we're going to need to take down his last Pokemon, but I don't want to be stuck. Out of items. Because we wasted one here. On a Gyarados. Okay, so we got lucky there. Arcanine, yes. You see, this is why we saved it. Let's switch into Kadabra. Kadabra's also really hurt. Let's go into the pack. Let's use a revive. On Gyarados, rain is falling, which should be at Gyarados' advantage here. That's, we are expecting him to kill both Kadabra and Ampharos right here. I mean, we're down to our last two Pokemon. He definitely gave us a run for our money. He's 
gonna use extreme speed. He's gonna use extreme speed against Gyarados, too. I think rain is still falling, right? Rain continues to fall, yep. So a Hydro Pump should kill him as long as he doesn't one-hit us with extreme speed. Which he might. Okay. He didn't. Thank God. And it doesn't look like he could two-shot us either. Okay. The rain stopped, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, we got it. We got the gym badge, folks. Perfect. And Dragonair, you didn't do anything, but you leveled up anyways. Good job, buddy. What? How the heck did I lose to you? Alright, take this Earth Badge. Very good, very good. Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Listen, you. You better not lose until I beat you. Got it? Got it. Man, you are truly tough. That was one heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. Thank you, sir. Let's heal up. Let's see if we can go beat Sabrina. You know, if we can, we can, but... Okay. Yep. People talking. People are talking. Talking about people. see if we can beat her. I don't think we can. To be quite honest. Yes. Thank you, sir. I wonder if anything's in this building. It was in the original one, I think. Glad to see you. You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present. A nugget! Thanks, sir. It's gonna be a lot quicker to go through Diglett's cave. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we could fly. I was gonna say, we almost made it through without an encounter. It's very rare that that happens. And against Sabrina, too. I don't- I really don't know if we're gonna win. I don't think we're gonna. Like... I think that might- this might be the end of our run. I could always train more. But then I get into, like, the question once again. Like, do I really want to make you guys see all the training? I don't like to do stuff off-screen. Sell the nugget. We only have 37,000. That doesn't feel like a lot of money, like in the the grand scheme of things. We haven't been catching anything lately, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's see if we can beat Sabrina. I don't I don't think we can. 
I mean, people would say, not with that kind of attitude, you know, obviously. Um, going into a, a battle positive may help as well, but... I don't know, guys. You know... I've just, I've, I've seen how this battle goes before. And not great is my definition of what happens in here. She's a really strong trainer. She's a really strong threat in the other game. And I guess based off of what we see here... I'm not sure... I just don't want to run into these people because I'm pretty sure we avoided them the first time. That's kind of aggravating. I mean, it'll get us our cadaver more experience. You know, cadaver versus cadaver here. Our cadaver is stronger than this cadaver, though. And we have Shadow Ball, which should kill him. But it's not going to do the same to Alakazam, and Alakazam hits first. I think that's the big problem, is Alakazam hits first. Okay, we just battled that guy, so we don't have to worry about him. I'm not really worried about these guys anymore. Although this guy has three Pokemon, of course. Oh, we have elixirs and stuff, though. Now, we should be able to win these battles. And this is good experience for Kadabra, if anything else. So, Encore just makes me use the same move over and over again. Okay, it's been a long time since I've seen Encore. I started thinking, like, what the hell does it do? So, we will change. We'll change into Typhlosion against Executor. Or, Execute. Yeah, so I, I don't know, guys. This may be our final episode of the series. You know, we'll go and we'll get whatever rewards we get for getting all eight gym badges from Oak. He said to come and see him. So we'll do that, and then we'll probably call him. I, like I said, I, we can go up against the final trainer, but I think we're going to lose. You know? I think it's not going to be great. so lost every time I'm in here. What is it running on random squares? takes me into here. This takes me here. None of them take me to her. Does this one take me to her? No. Does this one take me to her? No. This one. No. I think this is the room to try, though. Something tells me this room takes me to her. Okay, it doesn't. This brings us up here to this guy. Okay. So I think we do need to go here. I 
I'm so lost. Okay. Okay, let's, let's try this again. <laughs> right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Did I forget which way? Maybe go on this one? Down here. Over here. Up one. Up one. Damn, man. It's not this room. We've tried everyone in that room. Let's try everyone in this room. Let's try everyone with this old lady. It's not gonna be hers. Everyone with the little blue guy. Okay, everyone with the other little blue guy. Okay, we tried all those ones. Let's try the one with the old lady. Okay, nothing. Nothing. The entrance? This one? This one, maybe? Oh my god, this is so infuriating. Like, I don't know how the fuck to get there. I've done this a million times, too. It's like, that's where you want to be. Okay. Jesus. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges of anyone who has proven him or himself worthy. Since you wish it, I shall show you my psychic powers. And we're about to lose. Okay, she only has three Pokemon. She starts out with Espeon. We're not as underleveled as we were before. And we've seen now that we can take down in Alakazam, because we took one down on Blue's team. Oh, she's gonna try and lower my accuracy. That's bad news. We have to keep an eye out for that shit. Okay, Psychic is not a massive threat. It's still gonna deal, like, really good damage against me. May even kill me. My special defense fell. That's really bad. No. The main thing here is we can't get ourselves backed into a wall, which is what we did the last time we beat her. So that's not going to kill me, I don't think, but it's going to come really close. Oh no, it killed me. That's fine. Like I said, we're almost expecting that. Dragonair is our strongest Pokemon, technically, like, level-wise. Let's try Dragon Rage. I mean, Dragonair is not especially weak to Psychic moves. It's not especially strong against a Psychic type either. But my thoughts are, you know, if we could... Get him out of here, Mr. Mime. Okay. Good job, Dragonair. We're gonna say no. So what we're gonna do right off the bat, we're gonna go into the pack. Where's our revives? They're all the way down here. We wanna revive Kadabra. Because this really is our only ch chance. He's gonna wipe him out. 
which is A-OK. -okay. Gyarados did good work on the last one with his Hydro Pump. Okay. His defenses are rising. He's gonna do some good damage. He's gonna try and wipe us out with a Psychic. We're gonna see if we can hit him with a Thunder move. Because that's what saved us last time, is we were able to hit before him. I, this doesn't seem as bad as last time. We're gonna go for Hydro Pump again because she's gonna use a potion. Yep. I saw that one coming. But maybe we can get a crit and at least take him down into. Nope. Okay, so that's that's gonna be it for Gyarados. I think. I think that's his. He's saying peace out right there. Yep. Let's try Ampharos. Like I said, if we can hit a Zap Cannon, we may stand a chance. I don't know if we can, though. And he's only going to be able to tank one of these guys, if he can even tank it. And Zap Cannon has the worst inaccuracy in the world, so putting Ampharos in there was just a waste of time. That's all that we did, is we just wasted our time. Damn, it's such bad accuracy. Um, we need to throw a hair cross in there. And the reason we need to do so is because we need to use a potion on Kadabra. I'm hoping we could do this without reviving team members constantly. Psychic is going to wipe out hair cross. It's just going to wipe him out of this world, probably. Yep. You see, the hope is we can throw a Typhlosion in. Use Flame Wheel once before he kills us. And maybe get a burn. If we get a burn, I'll be comfortable with it. Back here. We're gonna heal up Typhlosion, actually. I think... I don't know what our best stat is gonna be to do here. Because he's just gonna keep hitting us with that, which is gonna essentially... Yeah, it's gonna put us in territory where he can one-shot us every round. Here. And he's always gonna hit first. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I should have revived somebody. Try Shadow Ball. Okay, he used Recover. That actually gives me like a, a little breath of air. The problem there is that that's not super effective. Let's put all the faith in Shadow Ball. So he's not recovering like a ton. And Shadow Ball's super effective against him. See, it must know that we can one-hit it in this range. The problem is, is he's gaining more than we're actually dealing each turn. So he's going to end up gaining most of his health back if he continues down this path. See, like, each time we, we're bringing him down less and less. Okay, but we hit first this time. We're just going to seal the deal. Kadabra's going to win it for us. That's all that I needed. That made my day. You're powerful. It far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it is impossible to fully predict... What the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself a Marsh Badge. Send some to Mon. That's all eight badges, I believe.
I already am a celebrated and beloved champion. Pretty sure. That was another fantastic battle. Thank you, sir. Let's go claim our reward from Oak. Do 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 do. Blizzy do 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 do. Yes, we have finally earned all eight badges inside of the Kanto region once again. No, it feels good. It feels good. And just looking at our level right now, there's no way we will win the final battle. So I think that this isn't officially the end of the story, but I think this is going to wrap it up, guys. I, I don't know if we can do it. I don't think we can. And it would take me probably another five hours plus, maybe? to get to where we needed to be in order to um, in order to win that final battle so I think we're gonna go see Oak and then that'll be it be ready to move on to the next series I know some people are gonna say I weenie out and maybe one day we'll return to the save because I will have it saved here. Maybe one day there'll be a return of Average Joe. But... I think for now, we're just ready to progress. Move on to something new. We've already beaten all of our enemies inside of Kanto and Johto. Other than one. But... He's not really an enemy. He's just a strong opponent. I know the only way to the only way to really lose here is to just not play. That's the only way to win too though. Like the only way we could really win that battle is just not to enter it. Because I know if we lose, I'll keep trying until we eventually get it, which will never happen. It's just the probability of it happening. Zero. Let's see, Oak's gonna be very impressed. Hey, Oak! Wow, that's excellent. You've collected the badges and gems in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Average Joe, I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits, but we can make an exception in your case. Go up to the Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. How's your Pokedex coming along? <sighs> Looks like we have to go visit Mount Silver! I wonder, can we reach it the same way that we used to be able to reach it? I at least have to let you guys see Mount Silver, but... Unfortunately, that's where, um... That's where what I fear lives. The problem is that we don't have an answer for his first Pokemon he's gonna send out. Like, none. And even if we did, we're so underleveled that it'll take like three or four hits to wipe out his first Pokemon, and by that time he'll wipe out half our team. I healed up, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go try it. We're gonna lose, but... Oh shit, we have to go through the whole... frustrating. I don't think we have to go through the whole thing again. Oh, Doduo. That's a really good Pokemon. Unfortunately, it's level 4. It's a little late in the game to be catching a level 4 Pokemon. 
Hey Beth, we're about to go get our, our asses handed to us, so. Why don't we call you later? Okay, this makes it way easier. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Of oh, the eight badges, please go right ahead, sir. Okay, so this goes this way. Oh, okay, it's it's after this section here. So we have to go through this damn cave. Teddy Ursa. Oh, it's Ursa ring. Sorry, I'm dumb. He looks like he's got a dong. Oh my god, it's him again. It's this way. And I've been through this cave so many times now. Let's level up Kadabra before we get to our final fight. I mean, we'll have a chance in the... Because there's Mount Silver, we actually have to go through the cave itself, but... If you could tell, like, just in the tone of my voice, I'm not very excited about this. <laughs> just because I know it's about to happen, and it's not good. Like I said, we really don't have an answer for his team. He's gonna completely obliterate us. I bet you we can't get through half his team. Anybody willing to take me on that bet? We can't even get through three members. If he put one Pokemon, the one that I'm thinking about specifically, in the front of his party, we wouldn't even be able to make it to that Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to just start the new game. You know, start fresh. Do, 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 do. Oh, an onyx. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Tired. Psybeam should be able to kill onyx. Especially, we can beat anything on this trail now, I think. We're a little over-leveled for this area of the game. That's the thing, see, like, we're only just a little bit over-leveled for this area. Okay, here we go. Wait, what the hell? This is frustrating. See, I don't even know if we'll be able to find Mount Silver. So that's another thing. Like, in general, I'm just really stupid, usually. I think it was the way we were going originally. So we didn't even need to do any of this shit here. Which always feels fantastic, by the way. That's what I love. The average Joe channel really loves <laughs> car alarms in the background. Um, any way that somebody could enhance the poor quality of my video really uh, gets me going. Okay, now the puppy's looking around and 
She's wondering what the hell's going on. I feel like screaming at them. I'm not in that kind of mood, but I really feel like it. Oh my ever-loving god. Okay. I think this is the right way. Maybe. Oh my god. No, I really love this, like, the... And as you can see, we're skipping a lot of these later battles because it's just aggravating. And the car alarm finally shut the fuck up. Woo! So no, this wasn't the right way then, right? Oh yeah, it is. Yep. Yes, it is. A Rapidash! Level 44, it's even stronger than me. Shit. Yeah, and like I said, I remember what level his team is, and we are not going to do well. It's, we may not even be able to run from some of these battles. Not silver. I think our cadaver does flash. Now we have to go and find the menace. I don't think he's that hard to find. So at least we have that. We don't have much else, though. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Like, there's not a single other thing that we have that's gonna help us. It's gonna give us a lot of items here, because it expects us to get our ass handed to us, which we're going to. Man, I'm, I'm bummed out. I'm bummed out. I didn't think we'd get this far in this one single episode. Like I said, I've been trying to keep them 30 minutes to 45 max, but this one, I think with it being the grand finale, it's justified in going a little bit longer. Because that's what it's going to be, the grand finale. It's going to be the ultimate loss. Average Joe will finally be shown who's the boss. After talking all this garbage this whole game, after getting his ass handed to him on a couple of gyms, which he didn't even struggle with in Pokemon Red, or Pokemon Yellow, we're finally going to see what it feels like to be the weakling, to be the chump. And we have to come out guns blazing on this one. There's, if we lose two Pokemon, we gotta start healing. We gotta start using our items. Um, it doesn't matter if we're backed into a corner. Not, and I didn't go to any fucking health areas either. So if I die, I'm going all the way back to Kanto. That's why they have that one right there. But I was a dumbass and didn't use it. Looks like we're we're getting there, all right. I remember this area. Golduck. I mean, these Pokemon are outranking our Pokemon handily, and they're wild. It's, it's just such a. It's one of those things where, like, you definitely know you're gonna lose, and that's what makes it depressing. You know? <laughs> like, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a loss. It's, we're at the final... Final peak. Everybody, um... We thank you for watching all these episodes, but here you're about to watch... The Loss of a Man. 
the ultimate defeat. Pikachu. 81. Double. That's gonna be one shot. Yeah, we're not even gonna be able to hit Pikachu. He, we, man, I don't know. Like I said, this is... This is it. Strength isn't really gonna do anything. All of his other moves are electric, so that's really our only choice. And Thunder, even though it's the same type, I mean, he's almost double our level once again. Paralyzed. Great. You're gonna see. Red is the ultimate trainer in this game, and as you can see, he's doing quite well against myself. I stand no chance. And I'm fully paralyzed. <laughs> Jesus. Like I said, I, I fully did not expect to win this one. That's why we're just kind of blowing through it. We might not even beat his first Pokemon. I was putting a bet that we wouldn't get past three. He's about to wipe out three, no problem. Because there's no way that Heracross is going to stand up to this. And... Nope, completely obliterated. Uh, let's try Typhlosion. I'm just trying to hit him with something. Anything would be good. Nope. Dragon air. Uh, Dragon rage is probably the best. Okay, he used charm. Uh, but my attack just sharply fell down. Just to beat one of his Pokemon would be nice. You know? Oh, he missed. That's good. Yeah, just to beat Pikachu would be a very big accomplishment right now. Can we do it? Oh my god. No. Not even close. Not even close, folks. And that's... I I'm not even going to use items here. It doesn't help us. There's no way. If, we're, Like I said, if we're struggling this much with Pikachu, there's absolutely nothing we can do against any of his other team members. The second he uses the Thunder, it's going to wipe out Dragonair. Okay, so at least... Like... And I, Hold on. I'm gonna start thinking about this logically here. So Dragonair can tank a Thunder. The problem is, is he's gonna keep using Thunder now. But it's not very effective against Dragonair. Ampharos can take a hit against them, too. Heracross cannot. It's probably gonna kill Dragonair. It's kind of expected. The goal is to switch into Heracross. Revive Dragonair. Even then, Dragonair with half health, he's gonna die. It's, just, it's not gonna work. I said, I just want to beat one of his Pokemon. Just beating one would be nice. You know, win against Pikachu, we can do it. 
So close. Oh my god. This bastard. That's it, we're done there. there there's no... There's no victory coming. We're not beating Pikachu. It's not happening. And that's the first of his Pokemon here. Which is what makes it crazy. He may be out of Thunder, though. Which actually gives us a fighting chance, which is why we're gonna... We're gonna use a... Hyper Potion. On Ampharos. So like I said, if we could just beat... Pikachu, I'll be happy with the run. And I think he's out of Thunders. Let's give a Hyper Potion to Dragonair. We should really be focusing on healing up the whole team right now. That's what we should focus on in case, like, say we do survive him, right? What's to say that, like, we won't have super effective moves against some of his other teammates? Logic, usually, is what's gonna point that out to us. But I think if Ampharos can tank this one, he can't. Okay. Dragonair. He's using charm against me. Which will lower my attack. But his attack isn't really all that effective against Dragonair. So he's gonna go for quick attacks, which is understandable. Oh no, we definitely lose this fight. I just remembered who his next Pokemon is. Yeah, we're done. At least we'll be able to see him, though. Oh my god, if Dragonair can actually attack here. It can, okay. So you get to see me beat one of Red's Pokemon. That's all that we got? That's all the XP for that one. Yeah. Blastoids, okay. Like I said, we there's like a 1% chance we could push class Blastoids. If we went into the pack, we used to revive, grabbed Ampharos. You know, this is possible. Not very, but it could happen. Yeah, he has all the Kanto starters. His other Pokemon are the Kanto starters. He has a... Snorlax, and he has an, uh, not Umbreon, but the psychic version of Eevee. So that kind of shows you, yeah, our team's kind of screwed, and they're all high 70s. Try Dragon Rage, and we're gonna die anyways. I'm just gonna let him beat the rest of the team, I think, unless Ampharos really, like... If Ampharos lands a Zap Cannon and paralyzes him, I might consider... ...trying to beat the rest of his team, but if Ampharos is just one hit KO'd here, I'm just gonna let everybody die. It's just not worth it. Yep. This is gonna be the end. Teflosion! Our starter. You were the man. You were the best choice, but... Average Joe's letting you down, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Dragonair. You joined the team late. But you have more power than any other member of the team. You're finishing with an attack. You have the heart to get one off. We appreciate you for that. You have the heart to get two off. 
Once that blizzard lands, Dragonair, though. There's no PP left for that move. Dragonair, goodbye. Goodbye, good friend. Now it's not the best time, Liz. That's it, folks. That's it for this episode and this series. I cannot progress any forward without spending hours upon hours in order to beat Red. He's the final trainer, but it can't be done. Maybe in the future, when I have some spare time, you know, an hour a week or so, I could spend grinding this game while I start the next one, but for right now, I just don't think it's feasible. But a tier list will come out for Generation 2 as long as I can find one that I can utilize and, you know, make up my mind about that kind of stuff. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Tired. But, um, once that's wrapped up, the tier list will be jumping over into the next game in the series. I'm unsure right now if it'll be a Pokemon game or if it will be, um, shit. Uh, Super Mario, but those are the two options I'm dealing with, and I have about four or five hours to decide still, so until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the series, and we'll see you on whatever comes out next.